Ngayon naman mga kapatid, tawagan po natin si Sister Ching Tubon. Purihin po natin Panginoon. Bless you God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to Christ Jesus. Praise God. Magandang umaga po mga kababayan ko dyan sa Pilipinas. Pag-ingat po del may bagyo. Good evening, good afternoon po dito sa atin sa US and Canada. And also those who are joining in Facebook Live, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. In name the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Holy Spirit, be with me, help me and guide me, teach me what to say. Mary, Mother Mary, sit of wisdom, pray for us, Amen. In name the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. The topic for tonight is we will make it through. Ang verse, basis ko po ito is from, Mat, from Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 to 30. Pasahin ko po sa Tagalog. Lumapit kayo sa akin, kayong lahat na nahihirapan at lubhang nabibigatan sa inyong pasanin at kayo'y bibigyan ko ng kapahingahan. Pasanin ninyo ang aking pamatok at matuto kayo sa akin, sapagkat ako'y maamo at may mababang loob, makatatagpo kayo sa akin ang kapahingahan. Sapagkat madaling dalhin ang aking pamatok at magaan ang pasanin, ang pasaning ibibigay ko sa inyo. Ito ang sinabi ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, mga brothers and sisters. Kanina, medyo hindi ko masyado talaga maunawaan kung anong ibig, iparating itong topic na ito that we will make it through. Basahin ko ng basahin, isip ako ng isip. Hanggat sa naisip ko mga kapatid ang aking kalagayan at ang kalagayan ng karamihan, ang kalagayan ng mundo. Kaya ito yung nasumpungan ko na, na binasa ko na, na verse na sagot ng Diyos sa topic na ito. So, ang dating sa akin is, we'll make it through our hardships, pains, sufferings, uh, disloyalty, hindi fair ang buhay, ang pagtataksil, etc., etc. So, sa buhay po natin ay maraming hindi maiiwasan tulad ng mga binanggit ko na hardships, or hirap or kahirapan fixed in close na rin po mga kapatid ang mga illnesses or mga diseases po natin and every time we have those we find explanations in some of those situations but find one in others kung mararanasan natin ang sufferings and pains ay naghanap tayo ng solution right minsan parang ang hirap malampasan sa buong maghapon ang pag-iisip at ang mga gawain. Sabi ko nga, how I wish na I could add hours to my day just to think and can just fit it all. Ang may, naisip ko, brothers and sisters, if we feel that hindi na natin kaya to get through it, balikan natin ang salita ng Diyos at mga pangako niya na nagpapatatag, nagtuturo, nagpapalakas, at nagpapagaling sa atin kung ano ang dapat nating gawin na mas mabuti. Dahil sabi sa 2 Timoteo chapter 3 verse 16, ang lahat ng kasulatan na kinasihan ng Diyos ay mapapakinabangan din naman sa pagtuturo, sa pagsansala, sa pagsaway, sa ikatututo na nasa katuwiran. Ang salita ng Diyos ay magiging sandata natin upang labanan ang mga hardships na ito for us to get through them. Amen. And God wants us also to follow Him. Maring sabihin nyo, Sister Ching, kung ako ba ay sumusunod na sa Diyos or alam ko na ang kanyang mga salita, ay garantiya ba ito na there will be no more sufferings or pains? Uh, my answer is, of course, there is still hope, there is still burden and hardships to carry on. We experience, although it is light or even lighter. Mas magaan na po. Kaya nga ang sabi ni Jesus, Matthew, 20, Matthew 11, 28 verse 30, ito na po yung English, Come to me all who are labored and are heavily burden, 
and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me, upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lovely in heart, and you will find rest in your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And it, this is, means that we have to carry our hardships and burdens, trusting in the Lord's heart of gentleness, meekness, and humility as we carry it with Him and in Him. God will help us carry our problems and our pains. Amen. If He carried the problems and pains upon God's shoulder, I know, my brother, that He will carry you. If He carried the problems and pains upon God's shoulder, I know, my sisters, that He will carry you. Yes, brothers and sisters, I know and I believe that Jesus carry our pains and problems with us if we continue to trust Him at ilagay natin lahat sa kamay ng Diyos at sa tamang panahon. He exalt us because Jesus cares for us. Napakagandang yung dasal na natutunan ko ito sa isang pare na sabi niya, uh, if you are burden, you burden, may mga sakit or mga problems, huwag mong sabihin na, Lord, alisin mo ito sa akin ito. Ang sabi niya, Lord, please help me carry all these pains and problems. Yun yung itinuro niya. Please help me carry. Sabi po sa 1 Peter 5, uh, 5 verse 6 to 7, Kaya nga pasakop kayo, kayo sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos at dadakilaan niya kayo pagdating ng takdang panahon, ipagkatiwala ninyo sa kanya ang iyong mga alalahanin sa buhay sapagkat siya ay nagmamalasakit sa inyo. Wow! Siya ang Diyos ang nagmamalasakit sa atin mga kapatid. Remember brothers and sisters, life is not easy. It is not always easy and light. It is full of trials and tests like issues and concerns of our health, issues and concerns within our families, and even within our communities that have caused our fears, uncertainties, anxieties, the disbeliefs that we will make it true. Amen. But life is not that hard after all when we trust in Him, when we trust in God and rest in Him. For only in the Lord we truly find rest. Amen. So amid sufferings and pains, we follow the Lord and take the yoke and learn from Him as He said. So that our lives will be easy and light because we keep His word and live by it. We do action for it. Isinasabuhay po natin ang ating napapakinggan na salita ng Diyos or nababasa na salita ng Diyos. When we follow the Lord Jesus, our life will be lighter and easier as God lives in us and help us to carry our burdens, pains, problems, sufferings, and all hardships. And we will make them true. Amen. Breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthroughs will come now. Na. Amen. 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 God bless us all. Thank you.